Welcome to Electron Online and for, for those who are a little bit more adventurous, let's find out how to find the moment of inertia of some different kinds of objects, different shape objects. And the first example here, uh, we're going to start with finding the moment of inertia of a thin bar of mass m and length l. So how do we do that? Well, imagine we have a thin bar, like so, that has length l and mass m. And this bar is going to be rotated about this axis right here. And we want to find the moment of inertia I is equal to question mark. So how do we do that? Because, you know, the mass is distributed over this entire bar. And of course, each little segment of the bar has its own little amount of moment of inertia, which is actually the way you want to approach this. Let's imagine we have a small little segment of this bar like that. And let's say that the thickness of that little segment is a small little dx. And... Um, Let's say that this segment is a distance x away from the point of rotation, x, and that little segment has a small amount of mass, let's call it dm. All right, so how do we utilize that information to find the moment of inertia? Well, what we want to do is we want to find the moment of inertia of this little piece right there. So we could say that the moment of inertia belonging to that little piece, well, let's call it a di, a small amount of moment of inertia. And that's going to be equal to the mass of that piece, which is dm, times the distance from the point of rotation away, which is x squared. All right? And therefore, if I want to find the total moment of inertia i, it's simply equal to the integral of all the little di's, which is equal to the integral of all the little dm's, times x squared. Now, of course, um, I'm going to integrate those starting from x equals 0 to x equals l. So that's from x equals 0 to x equals l. Those are my limits of integration, x equals 0 to x equals l. Now, I have a small problem here. I have the variable x in my integral sign and the, the variable dm, or the dm, that doesn't belong to the x, I have to do something here to make those two variables equal to each other. So how do I relate dm to dx? Well, the mass of a little segment right here, the dm, is equal to a fraction of the whole mass. It's equal to some fraction times the whole mass. And that fraction is going to be the ratio of the length of dx compared to the whole length. So this is really can be written as dx over x or not over x, that would be over L, the total length right here, the x over L. So the mass of this small little piece is equal to the whole mass, m, times the ratio of the length of the little piece divided by the length of the whole, whole bar. So that would be dx over L. So I can replace my dm by dx over L times m. So let's do that. So this is equal to the integral of dx over L times m, that was my old dm, times x squared, Again, from x equals 0 to x equals l. And now realizing that um, m and l are constants, the mass is a constant, the length is a constant, that can come out of the integral sign. So this can now be written as uh, m over l times the integral from x equals 0 to x equals l of x squared dx. And now we're in business. Now we can go ahead and integrate that because the dx is uh, as a variable of x. Uh, along with x squared, so the integral of that would be x cubed over 3, so this is equal to m over l, times x cubed over 3, evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals l. Of course, when we plug in the lower limit, we get 0, so we can ignore that, but when we plug in the upper limit, we get this is equal to m over l times l cubed over 3, and then, of course, we see an L cube over here. We see an L down here. So this L cancels out one of those. That becomes L squared. And we now have one-third M L squared, which was the moment of inertia of a thin bar, as we saw in the previous video. So we now proved it. That that's indeed correct. So there's one example. Let's now stay tuned for another example to see how we find the moment of inertia of, let's say, a cylinder, a solid cylinder. And we'll go through the same kind of process. So let's do that. 